we were nervous about, okay, we're going to get the vending machine, but how are we going to get the books to put in it? It really doesn't take much effort to have one in the school, as long as you can keep getting books. Teacher's desk. Teacher's desk. Before we even started, we talked to um, John over at the teacher's desk, and he was like, absolutely, I will help you. It's a store where teachers who work in schools in need are able to shop for free. And they are a great organization helping teachers with supplies, books, supplies of all sorts for the classroom that teachers do not need to purchase. It's completely donated to the schools, to the teachers, and they volunteered. They stepped up immediately as soon as we mentioned what we wanted to do, what we were doing. Um, I approached them with the idea that we're doing this and they were on board immediately. They were very happy to help. They're actually part of the Kids in Need Foundation. So there are lots of stores around the country that do have these teacher shopping stores where teachers can go to shop for students in their community. Um, he's been a great supporter. Every time we've said we needed books, we're getting low. Come on in, take some books, take whatever you need. They have become our official sponsor of the book vending machine, so they help us restock our machine with whatever books we need. He's been wonderful with finding the books that fit specifically in the spots that we chose because you get to choose the size of the books, the right grade levels. Sometimes it's um, a challenge to find the exact same correct size book to place in there. Um, we found our little tricks and how to get things to stand up properly and things like that. So we've actually learned there's an area under the book vending machine to store our books. So we keep a large stockpile of books under there because you never know which row is going to run out. We always find that kids are picking different categories and it's funny, every classroom has a different want. For example, last year in kindergarten, all the kindergartners wanted a Dolly Parton book because that was the song they were singing in the morning. So I was not expecting that row to, fill, to empty out so fast. So we were able to pull from our stockpile of books underneath. So then whenever we notice our stockpile underneath is getting a little low, we're able to go to the teacher's desk, fill up a big bin of books and bring it on over and fill it up again. Sometimes the students will write little thank you notes when we tell them, um, we do discuss, okay, well, this we didn't put money in here, we put a token in here. How do you think we got the books? Well, don't you think if we do a letter writing lesson, let's write some thank you letters. And um, we do send in little letters and um, pass those on to the sponsors of the teacher's desk as well. Um, they do have sponsors all over the country and they always ask teachers to write thank you notes to those sponsors. And I will um, usually ask a couple times a month, can I have that sheet so I can send a couple thank you notes to those sponsors. Uh, because of your donation, our students have books in their hands. It's the partnership between our school and the teacher's desk. They are our official sponsor for the book vending machine. So they, want, they said they wanted to give us all the books we need.